Hey guys, I want to talk to you about stillness and how important it is in our daily lives. I think I've said this quote a million times, but A.W. Tozer said, could there be anything more important than sitting in silence before God every day? I want you to turn to Zechariah 2.13. In Zechariah, we see this prophet speaking specifically about stillness. The scripture says, Be silent, all flesh, before the Lord, for He is aroused from His holy habitation. We see in this scripture, when we get quiet and silent before the Lord, this is where the Lord begins to act. When we cease our activity, it ignites divine activity. The second verse I want to show you is Habakkuk. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 20. The Lord is in His holy temple, so let all the earth be silent before Him. You see the connection between the presence of the Lord, the Lord is in His holy temple, let all the earth be silent before Him. He silences the flesh. He silences the earth. He silences the things that are below. His presence quiets, stills everything else in our lives. A lot of times our minds are active, but His presence will quiet us. The last one is Zephaniah 1.7. Turn over to Zephaniah. Be silent before God, for the day of the Lord is near. We see that being quiet before God is connected with His return. When you get quiet and give God all of your attention, you are preparing your heart for that great and coming day. It is actually a foretaste of His coming where He will grab all the attention from everyone at once. You're saying, I will give my attention to you now I don't need to wait for that day. Though we love that day, we can't wait for that day. We expect that day when He will split the sky. We let Him split the sky of our life by giving our attention to Him. Three things from these scriptures. Number one, silence is God's movement. Silence is where God stills. Silence is pointing to His coming. A couple of quotes that I wanted to put together with this is Madame Guyon said, simply stay quiet in His presence, cease all activity, lest God's presence is perceptibly diminished by your activity. Seek nothing from God in these quiet moments except to love Him and to please Him. That's Madame Guyon. Another one from Madame Guyon, speaking of silence, relish these times of, si of rest and quiet in His presence. The only requirement is to begin. Just take time to get quiet with Him. The next thing she says is, God never uses force. Instead, He attracts us by His sweet presence. God's attraction is a perfume to allure and an ointment to heal. See, everything in the Christian life is death for life. All aspects of this entire life are wrapped up in the loss of self. How much more communion with God? If the whole of, Christ of the Christian life is rooted in the loss of self, how much more is the root of this whole life rooted in the loss of self? That's the essence of silence before God. I am putting away everything that I want to think about everything that I want to say, and I'm giving to you all my attentions. Silence is the outward practice of the loss of self. It is the inward ceasing of noise that is the expression of the loss of self in communion with God. You think of a person that's dead, that person is expressing his death in silence. Silence equals the expression 
of death, and so it is in prayer. If we are to find the resurrection life that there is in the Spirit, it will follow death, which is, I give everything over to you. I release all to you. It is this death of silence that quickens God's activity. It's death to our own thinking, willing, our own doing. It is giving Him full way, His full place. It's, it is giving all to Him to receive Him as all. Finn alone once wrote, recollect yourself as much as you can. In other words, take time to just collect your heart and lay it before the Lord. He said, abide in silence as much as you can. I encourage you to let your life be a constant retreat to a quiet place, to just collect your thoughts and let them go to the Lord, to lay everything down at His feet again and again throughout the day, and just enjoying and basking in the sweetness of His presence. Fenelon said, we accomplish much more by quiet, tranquil labor in His presence than by the greatest eagerness of over activity of a restless nature. <laughs> and the last one he said is, rest in peace in the bosom of the Lord. That is where you must refresh yourself and gain new strength. I encourage you to make quietness before Him absolutely everything to you. Because here you express Him as everything to you. Your thoughts are what matter. Your face is what deserves attention. I just want to be here with you. You know, the scripture talks about Mary of Bethany and I have been so moved by her example. But at some point, she heard that Jesus was at the house. Obviously, he arrives at some point if he's in the house. So she hears that he's there. Then she looks for him because if you're going to draw near to someone, you have to see where they are. She hears that he's there. She looks for him. When she sees him, she goes to him. And when she gets to him, she goes down low and bows. And then lastly, she looks at him. To me, this is a picture of what prayer is. We recognize that he's there. We begin to look for Him by giving Him all of our attention. And once we look for Him, we draw near to Him and bow down by worship. And lastly, we fix our eyes on Him and simply watch Him breathe. Prayer is simply watching Jesus breathe. So I encourage you to get quiet before the Lord, to live in quietness and constantly retreat to collect your heart and offer it to Him again and again. Finn alone said, it doesn't take long to tell Jesus that you love Him. So God bless you. Thank you so much for your support. Those of you that have become Patreon subscribe, uh, Patreon supporters who, who give a dollar a month uh, to help our YouTube channel. Also, thank you to those of you who have become actual partners with our ministry. We really are in a place right now where the ministry is expanding and we need more money to be able to, uh, we need more money to be able to handle the expansion of it all. So I thank you, all of you who are partners. And those of you that are not partners, um, it's easy to become one. Uh, as you go to the website, which is down below, you click donate and you can put in a, a amount of money, $10, $20. Uh, maybe you can do $100 and just click the box that says Re make this reoccurring and it will come to us every month and help us be able to continue doing this work that the Lord has called us to do, which is to call everyone to the feet of Jesus. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for loving us and supporting us. Bless you guys, let me pray. Father, you have been so kind and patient. I worship you. And I'm asking that you would give all of us grace to get quiet and to be still before you. <laughs> to enjoy your sweet presence. Thank you so much for your goodness, your blood that gives us access and the spirit that is installed. You are heaven itself. 
we worship you. Amen. God bless you guys.